True Course Made Good Practice Problem 1 reads, at 1016, your GPS position is latitude 41076 north, longitude 7138.5 west. At 1116, your position is latitude 4101.4 north, longitude 7129.4 west. What is the true course made good between these two positions? First thing we do is we'll find our starting position. I like to estimate it right off the bat, which is 41, 7.6. So here's 10, 9, 8, 7.5.6. So we're right here. And then longitude 38, 5. So we got 71, 35, 6, 7, 8.5. We're going to be right in here. And you'll notice one of the hardest parts about this first problem set is using your parallel rules and dividers. So if we get down here too far, sometimes it's hard to use the parallel rules for both of them to find both latitude and longitude. So I'll show you some tricks in here. Now I'm going to line these parallel rules up with a parallel, right? Parallels, meridians. Drop it down to. 2, 5, 6, 7.6, 41, 7.6. I'm going to strike a line, and I'm going to strike it from, from a meridian, because we know we're going to 38 point something, 38.5. So we know we're going to be right around here, so I'm going to strike this line from this meridian past 38.5. And now I'm going to use my dividers and double check 38.5 it's very easy to look at the wrong latitude and longitude even take it from a different problem so we're looking at 38.5 5 6 7 8 see that long mark long mark in the middle 38.5 good come down this from this meridian 38.5 this is our start, so I'm going to mark it, start. And now, let's look at the end. And at 1116, our position is 41.014 and 71.29.4. 41, zero, 41 degrees, 1.4. So here we go, lining it up. 41, now here's 41 point, there's 5.4, and our second is 29.4, so here's 29.4, it's way up here. So this is a better example. Now if I were to try to take my parallel rules, I could do it, it'd be kind of tough, line it up on a meridian, Go 29.4, just like that. And now I have to do this crazy walk, right? This one and there. I can get it. But an easier way, take your dividers, go 20, see the 71.30. This is 35, so going this way is into the 20s. 71.29.4. Now instead of walking my parallel rules down here, I'm just going to take this and make a mark. Now you see how my marks are a little bit different. The one I got with my dividers is going to be more accurate. So this is my end. And our start, here's our start, and here's our end. All we do is line up from the start to the end. We went this way. I like to put my pencil lead right in the middle of the X, bump the parallel rules up to it, and then line it up with the start. And now we need to get it to the compass rows. So again, here now we need to work these parallel rules. How do we get to the center of that rose? It's right here. I'm gonna take a step this way, and then hold it with my two fingers spread apart is key. If you hold it by here, you kinda of make a pivot point and it likes to jump around. Spread your fingers out, 
push it down and then move the other one. So now you can see we're right over the center of the X. If I take my pencil lead, I go right over it. And I went from start to the finish. So right here, I am recording 131, 132. So 132 degrees true. Now let's look at the answers. Here we are. A is 132 true. And you can check it, which we will. So 132, number one, the answer is A. So the correct answer to true course may good practice problem one is 132 degrees true A.